We are here at the launch event of Samsung newly launched app Good Vibe and Lomino, which are specially designed for deaf, blind, and lower vision people. Samsung has also partnered with National Association for the Blind, and under this partnership, Samsung will provide its Gear VR and Galaxy Note 9 smartphones to NAB Delhi. Meanwhile, we had a word with Samsung Vice President Tri Vikram Thakur regarding the newly launched apps. So, stay tuned. about the app you have launched today so there are two apps that we have launched today one is called good vibes samsung good vibes which essentially acts as a two way communication tool for the deaf blind and the other one is called relumino which is uh, you could call it a visual aid for people with uh, very low vision so these are the two apps that we launched today um the way uh, good vibes works is that um, it gives the user and the deaf blind the the caregiver and the deaf blind two different interfaces the interface that the deaf blind has is basically just a dark screen while uh, the caregiver someone like you and i will have a, a, an interface which uh, is open to both text and voice uh, what uh, the app does is it allows the deaf blind to input their messages by either long pressing on the screen or a short like a dot on the screen and uh, they are able to input their messages using uh, morse code so that the short press and the long press is nothing but a form of morse code which again uh, then gets digitizes and it is received by the caregiver or a friend or anyone else in the family as text or voice um when the caregiver texts back to uh, the deaf blind uh, they input in either text or voice um and it is received in the form of vibrations again uh, dots and dashes which uh, the deaf blind is able to decipher uh, by uh, with with the knowledge of morse code so that's what it does um what uh, the app really does for the deaf blind is it opens the world up for them you know right now as we speak their world is limited to just their care, caregivers and maybe few other members of the family but uh, hopefully with this app it'll you know mean a, a whole new world for them it, it gives them a voice relumino on the other hand um like i said it's a visual aid for those with very very uh, poor vision and it uses the gear vr and uh, a samsung smartphone and what it allows the people with low vision to do is to magnify or minimize a text or an image uh, they they're able to focus better uh, courtesy the app they're able to adjust brightness and contrast of the text or the image that uh, they they want to see or read uh, what uh, this in turn means is that let's say if it's a student that we're talking about he or she is able to learn better because they're able to see better they're able to uh, uh, read better um as a part of our csr program uh, for uh, renew relumino we've tied up with uh, nab the national association for the blind in delhi and we'll be uh, sharing uh, gear vrs and galaxy note 9 free uh, for free okay. yeah and uh, we will conduct training sessions for teachers and students uh, and hopefully uh, uh, make a difference to their lives uh, for uh, good vibes what we've done is we've tied up with sense international again as a part of our csr initiatives and uh, we'll be uh, going across to five new cities uh, to impart training to teachers and so you've started with uh, delhi only no uh, so the training started in ahmedabad okay. where we first trained the teachers uh, which was followed by delhi and then bengaluru so okay. those are the three cities that we've covered so far okay and what about the five cities you are planning uh, the to? five other cities that we're planning to go to are kolkata raipur uh, goa uh, udaipur and ranchi so you're going to organize main uh, like Uh, training and training sessions yes okay. um uh, and and uh, we'll use uh, sense internationals good offices to do that uh, they've helped us out a lot um the the, the kind of education that uh, we've been able to get got to see them uh, and and getting uh, inroads into the lives of the deaf blind has been truly truly enriching okay. what kind of challenges you have faced while developing these apps well for starters you know it's it, it, it's a new world 
we, we didn't know uh, the challenges of the deaf blind um, and when we started talking to Sense International and we started meeting uh, the deaf blind we realized that there are challenges at three levels. Uh, the first challenge is uh, their movement to get from place A to place B. The second challenges have to do with uh, their daily needs uh, and the third is to do with communication and that's where we saw uh, 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 an opportunity to contribute. Um, <clears throat> because this app is based on Morse code uh, and, and, and not everyone knows Morse code, um, we, the first challenge was really getting the deafblind, the teachers and the caregivers um, to know about Morse code, how it works. The second was what would be the right text sizing, etc., uh, when two-way communication between the deafblind and the caregivers happens. The third challenge that we faced was uh, the vibrations. What should be the interval between one vibration and another, which would give the deafblind enough time to piece the communication together. Uh, and lastly, really, is. Uh, how do we go out to more and more people is, is something that uh, you're you know, still we're facing working that on. you're working on the same we're working at which is why i said we're doing those five workshops right in okay. those five cities and when uh these will be done over the course of the next uh, six months uh, we'll do these five workshops okay and this app is available only where it's where is available right so now? currently it is available on uh, our galaxy store and very soon it'll be available on google play store how soon and it's free right it's free uh, this, it's a no-cost app. All you need is a smartphone uh, to be able so to use it. this app is, is going to be available only on Samsung phones? And every no, it will work on all Android phones, okay. so it's not just limited to Samsung phones. Okay.